Hi guys, it is Luke Goddard here from Goddard Speak with a few thoughts today, this time on the ethical debate of legalizing euthanasia in Australia, in parts of Australia at least. I've got a couple of thoughts, two thoughts today on the issue. Number one is that the yes voters for euthanasia are saying people deserve the right to die with dignity. Now, that sounds kind of clinical and clean and nice, but the same argument has been used for abortion for years and years and years, saying it's a dignified, clean, pain-free, perfectly normal death for a baby uh, out of convenience for the mother. It's an absolute atrocity. It's exactly the same thing in the euthanasia debate. They're saying we're going to cleanly, effectively, instantaneously kill somebody that's ill that wants to die. It's assisted suicide. So basically they're passing a law to kill someone before their time is up with a lethal injection or some kind of substance. I don't even care how they're going to do it. What they're doing is ending someone's life before their time has come yet. What they're doing is stripping their life, shortening it for absolutely no reason. Now, my second thought is that doctors actually have in their Hippocratic Oath a duty to care for patients as long as possible, to care for them, to prolong their life, to make their life as comfortable as possible as long as possible. And there are a myriad of pain relief options out there for any illness of any kind, including terminal illness, right? Pain today can be treated so well that in some cases you actually don't feel pain at the end, okay? Now, this isn't to say that it's easy, but you should, as a doctor, and I'm speaking to you doctors out there who are doing this and who are going to effectively uh, kill people cleanly, uh, I'm saying that your oath is to actually protect your patients. It's not to inject political debate and your own personal opinions into your profession You've signed up to care for people as long as possible. If you don't do that, you're a hypocritical doctor and you're also a murderer. You're also a thief because you're stealing someone's life from them who may, in fact, change their mind halfway through the thing. Now, what are you going to do when you're sitting there and you're giving this lethal injection and they say, no, I guarantee you there's going to be some cases that come out of this, whether it's worldwide or Australia, where someone's going to say, no, I don't want this, and then they die. You're going to have that on your hands as a doctor who has stripped himself or herself of her duty to care for his or her patients. No way whatsoever can this be a clean, justified death. It's absolutely ridiculous. Terminally ill patients, yes, they're suffering. They need help through that suffering, no matter how much they bite and scratch and scream. The same as when you hold a kid when they're having a tantrum, You hold them in your arms, you wait for them to writhe and stop, to stop crying, to calm down and to rationally see things, and then you counsel them through afterwards. You don't toss them outside into the gutter and have someone steal them away and beat them because they're going through a tantrum, okay? You don't uh, take away the pain by punishing them. You counsel them through it, you see them through the pain. Your duty as a parent is to protect your kids at all costs, even if it costs you. That's my two thoughts today on euthani- uh, euthanasia. Please vote no to that if a vote ever comes up in your Facebook feed, any political sphere that you're in, vote no to euthanasia and enter the debate knowing God gives life, it is God who gives and takes away. He numbers your days, it's his job to take you when your time is up, not a doctor's. I'm Luke from Goddard Speak. More videos to come. God bless.